there may be times you want to calculate the runtime of an object. There is a tool within the kick control palette that you can add to an object to extend its functionality and to calculate its cumulative runtime. If I expand my control palette folder inside the kit control palette, there is a folder within there labeled extensions. If I click the triangle to expand the extensions folder, there is within there something called a discrete totalizer extension. And a discrete totalizer extension is used to extend the value, excuse me, extend the function of a Boolean point. What it does, it allows us to calculate the runtime or the number of cycles that that point has cumulatively experienced. To add that, in this case, to my exhaust fan, I can expand my cafe folder in the nav tree drag that discrete totalizer extension out of the palette and drop it on top of my exhaust fan in the nav tree. I have the opportunity to rename that object, though I don't need to. And I'll click OK. Notice nothing changes on the wire sheet. I cannot see the calculated runtime. But the runtime is accumulating once I drop that totalizer extension onto the Boolean writable exhaust fan. To view that, I need to composite the extension property onto the wire sheet. I right click onto the exhaust fan Boolean writable, and from the pop up menu, select Composite. This opens up a composite editor view. On the left is my exhaust fan. If I click the triangle to expand it, I can see the extensions that are contained inside the exhaust fan object. One of these is the discrete totalizer extension I just added to the Boolean writable. If I click the triangle to expand that, I see the properties of that discrete totalizer extension, all the slots all the properties and actions. And one of those is called the elapsed active time. This is the accumulated runtime of the object. If I highlight it and click add, it adds it to the right side of the composite editor. This is a point that will now be displayed on the wire sheet after I click OK. Before I do so, if I want to rename that object, I can click rename or I can simply double click on the slot and I can change the name to runtime. Click OK and click OK again and it adds the runtime in hours, minutes, and seconds to that exhaust fan object on my wire sheet. There are times we may want to reset that runtime down to zero. Perhaps if we've done preventative maintenance and we want to begin calculating that runtime from the beginning again. In order to do that, I can composite an action onto the exhaust fan object. I'll right click on the exhaust fan and select composite, opening up the composite editor. Expand the exhaust fan point. Expand the discrete totalizer extension. And select the reset elapsed active time action. And if I double click on that, that's the same thing as highlighting it and clicking the add button. It adds it to be displayed on the right. And it will show up on my wire sheet. If I want to change the name of that, I can double click and say, instead of reset elapsed active time, reset runtime. When I click OK, it adds the action to 
my exhaust fan Boolean writable object. And if I right click on that object and go to the actions menu, now one of my action options is to reset the value of that runtime. If I click on that action, you'll see your runtime goes to zero.